The web application AudioShip is one of the quickest and easiest ways to upload audio to YouTube and Facebook. It's great for podcasts, songs, or any audio project that you have. The best part about it is it's free to upload one hour of audio a month. If you want to upload over one hour a month, then you can upgrade to one of AudioShip's premium plans. In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to upload a music track to YouTube using AudioShip. Start by navigating to the AudioShip's website. Then, on the main interface, select Choose Audio File to start. Then you'll see this drop down menu. We can navigate over to our folder. And then next, select the MP3 that you want to use. Then select Open. Then we're shown a prompt to log in with either Facebook or Google. Since we want to upload to YouTube, it's easier to select Sign In with Google. Navigate to the Google account you want to upload your video to and select Allow from the lower right hand corner. And because I've already used AudioShip before, it remembers my preferences and enables the YouTube integration automatically. But whenever you open this for the first time, you'll want to press Allow from the lower right hand corner. Then you'll be presented with the main interface of AudioShip. This enables you to enter in all of the information for your video. So first we can go in and select the account that we'll be uploading to, and then we can go in and change our image. And then press Save Image in the lower right hand corner. We can adjust our video title. We can set our privacy status to public, private, or unlisted. For now, we can set it to public. Because it's a music track, we can set the category to music. We can add a quick description. Add in a few tags for the YouTube video. And then when all of your information is entered in correctly, select the button in the upper right hand corner marked post all videos to YouTube. At this point, AudioShip encodes your video and uploads it onto YouTube. This should only take a few seconds for a typical music track, and when your upload is complete, you'll be given a YouTube URL for your video, which we can see down in the left-hand side. Let's say, for example, that you wanted to upload an entire album or multiple chapters of an audiobook to YouTube. AudioShip also supports batch uploading for uploading multiple audio files at the same time. To start, select Choose Audio Files to start, and then from the drop-down menu, Hold down shift and select both of your audio files at the same time. Then upload just like we did in the previous example. So sign into the Google account that you want to use. And then you can enter in information for both of your videos manually from this interface or all of the videos at the same time. Let's say for example, I want to enter in the same information for each video. We can select this check mark box and it'll select all of our videos at the same time. Then we can hit edit. And then we can make global changes to all of our videos simultaneously. Let's keep the title blank for now, set the privacy status to public, category to music, you can set the video description, enter in some simple tags, choose an image for both files at the same time, and then press the apply changes button. We can now go and select the YouTube account that we want to upload everything to. And then we can also enter in titles for both of our videos. Once you've finalized everything, select Post All Videos to YouTube, and then once the video processing is done, you'll be given links to both of those videos. Additionally, if you want to use your own custom artwork, you can do so by selecting the image to the left-hand side of the AudioShip interface. Then select Custom, Upload Image, and then select the image you want from the drop-down menu. Next, hit Open. And then as soon as your image pops up in your main window, select the image and hit Save. Now you can see in the main interface that we have our custom image loaded into AudioShip. Then just enter in all the metadata like you would before and select post all videos to YouTube. Then whenever the video is done processing, it will give you a YouTube link to your custom video.